Hey everyone, it's Yvonne Emile Elizondo from Silver Moon Astrology and Transpersonal Counseling, also known as Silver Moon Counseling. And I am here today because it is January 6th and we do have the Cancer Full Moon today, um, 5.08 p.m. Central Standard Time. And so I wanted to give you an idea of maybe what the energy um, potentially can show up as and maybe how to mitigate some of that um, energy. So I don't have my chart because I don't have my computer because I'm recording on my phone. Sorry, um, it's I have been so unbelievably busy, um, especially during the holidays. Like I, I, I am so booked, which I'm very, very grateful for. But that means some of the other things in my life that I truly enjoy, like um, you know, putting up these videos. Whoever's going to listen to them will listen to them. Um, I kind of like <laughs> rushing to get done at the very last minute, and of course, my ADHD doesn't help the situation whatsoever. So. Let's get started. Let's talk about this Cancer um, full moon. It is again uh, January 6th uh, at, in the evening or starting the evening and Central Standard Time. All right, so let's talk about the moon. Just a reminder um, the moon is really responsible um, for initiating the, the essence, okay, or the archetypal energy of our emotions, of our higher mind. Um, sometimes it, it represents our body as well, but the moon belongs in cancer it is at home in cancer and so cancer energy it is a cardinal water um energy right so cardinal is initiatory um cancer if you have any cancers in your life you may know that they're either very um you know nurturing motherly they're very about their home and their family uh it also is about you know um taking it kind of putting a shell around themselves or putting a shell around those people that they love uh, but at the same time they can be pretty instinctual okay because the moon is you know also represents our instinct and they can be pretty instinctual and not always show that protection um, in a mothery nurturing way sometimes it comes across like a protector so my daughter has um, cancer in the first house and she's got the moon and cancer in the first house and you know, you would think she would be very um, affectionate and just motherly, and she is almost the opposite of that, um, partly because Saturn is sitting on her moon, uh, but Saturn is in the 12th house. Anyways, long story. Um, but she is very much about protecting her friends, protecting her, protecting me. Um, she's very much about protecting her space. Um, she loves, uh, you know, having her own quality time and her own space. And, and she really enjoys being at home. And so that's the essence of this cancer energy, I feel. So on the opposite side of this cancer moon, we have the sun that's in Capricorn because cancer and the sun are on that uh, polarity. And the moon, uh, excuse me, the sun in Capricorn is pretty much conjunct with uh, Mercury retrograde, or I should say Mercury retrograde is conjunct um, the sun, right? And so Mercury retrograde in Capricorn, uh, I mentioned this in my previous video, is an internalization of that um, mind communication energy. Um, and in Capricorn, it's very much about practicality and maybe being overly practical or um, really having to internalize a lot of that um, essence of how that work energy um, flows because uh, Capricorn is all about work and ambition and um, really likes to get things done. And so this full moon, you may see the struggle between, you know, that, that natural moon essence in Cancer that says, you know, I really want to um, be of service to my to my friends, to my family, to my home. And then there's this tug of war maybe happening with the mind and um, have feeling mis perceived um, feelings of having to work instead of spending time at home with your family. Um, this moon is also very much about the instinct and diving into that emotional essence. So um, fortunately for my daughter, she does have Saturn hanging out in Gemini, which is close enough to that moon, but still out of out of sign, that it creates a, a little bit of an influence. So her emotions aren't kind of you know waning as much. Um, but typically, the moon in Cancer is very much about the waxing and waning of those moons. It's it's like that ocean tide coming in and coming out. And so you may feel um, the you know this full moon is very much about those emotional tides that are pulling you in and out. And so we have to have an essence of really understanding. Um, ourselves and making sure that we're not misperceiving because that mercury retrograde can definitely create that sense of misperception so 
Um, there are some really good um, other influences with this full moon. One of them happens to be um, that uh, there's a Neptune influence here and with the moon in a trine. And so um, the moon is in Cancer, it belongs in Cancer, and it's trining uh, Neptune and Pisces, and Neptune feels very home at Pisces. And so for me, this feels like a more spiritual, like more um, creative time. Uh, and so I would definitely want to tap into maybe some ideas and ways to mitigate gate um, you know, this, this full moon, uh, is to step into that essence of spirituality, to step into that essence of creativity. For example, and I'm talking about my daughter a lot, but for example, um, my daughter received this amazing, um, art, um, gift for Christmas and she hadn't done a lot of artwork cause she's in university, right? And so she's not doing a lot of artwork. And, um, so she just, took the artwork, you know, this gift and started drawing. And within a period of like 10 minutes, she had this beautiful um, image that she had done with a pastel, oil pastels, right? So this is the kind of the energy that we are working with. It's really about um, tapping into our instinctual, um, you know, maybe protective nature, um, feeling comfortable at home. You may feel, you know, wanting to spend time with your family or friends, but at home, but also remember that you, you have the potential for misperceiving um, maybe some of those tendencies uh, but in order to help you maybe feel more grounded because sometimes that cancer moon does not feel grounded or you can go into its shell um, you may want to tap into maybe some more spiritual practices um, maybe some artistic practices and art isn't just art right it, it could be writing it could be you know ceramics it could be um, you know painting your walls, it could be, you know, taking care of the birds, whatever it is that you find um, creative for you during this full moon is definitely something um, that you'll want to tap into. This would also be a really um, appropriate time to, real, you know, take a look at your surroundings, maybe your home, and, you know, maybe plan some things that you may want to incorporate into your home environment. Cancer energy is very much about the home. It's very much about wanting to stay connected to home. Um, it, it and family so this may be a great time right after the holidays I know some of us may be like oh my god I have to spend time more time with my family great but um, maybe you want to uh, establish or maybe create some opportunities for you to spend time with other family for example like your friends or maybe your co-workers or people that you would find um, are a part of your group so this is the energy that I feel. Um, Venus and Mars, Venus is now in Aquarius and Mars is, is still retrograde in, um, what's it called, um, Gemini. So, but they're in a trine because those are two air signs. So they're in a trine. So the the essence of love and connection and the motivation to, you know, um, facilitate maybe some of those interpersonal relationships may be more feasible during this time, even though Mercury is in retrograde. Um, but it still makes me feel like it's going to be a more cohesive um, time. All we have to do is watch out for that Mercury retrograde in Capricorn. Um, you know, don't become overly practical. Don't take a look too much at the work effort. Um, don't be, you know, all of a sudden be feeling like you're not secure in who you are and maybe self-doubt um, because you don't feel like you're being productive. All of these are Mercury retrograde tendencies and I hope everybody's surviving the Mercury retrograde because yeah. Anyhow, that's it for me. Um, if you want to learn more about your astrology, please visit me at um, silvermooncounseling.org. That is silvermooncounseling.org. And I would love to do your chart. Again, this is a general expression of the energies, but if you know your chart or if you want to learn more about your chart, come see me. All right. All right, everyone. Take care and have a great um, full moon in Cancer. Blessed be.